Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to another episode. Today we're at the farm about 20 minutes drive from home and we're going after rock pigeons and some uh, laughing ducks and uh, we're going to be hunting in these sheds and around these structures and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for tuning in. Got him. Okay. Hey,
down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so we had a really successful start. We got those four pigeons and that one dove in under 10 minutes of hunting. And uh, we drove off uh, there to shed. We were hunting there. And uh, we are now in this little ditch. Uh, we took this little hill so what we're going to do is we're going to sneak up over and uh, father in law is going to take the shot with his Gamo CFX I've got the 22 rimfire to do a little bit of longer shots so let's have Adam Another one. <laughs> Maybe a shot, I with one shot. Gonna try again. Missed. He missed. Previous one, he shot two, two with one shot. Got another one. Okay guys, so uh, that was a fun half an hour of air hunting and uh, shooting with the 22 rimfire. I don't know if you guys could, could have seen it on the video or if the camera was recording, we're not sure. I got two rock pigeons with one shot of the 22. Uh, it wasn't intended that way, but uh, luck shots also count. And uh, now we're gonna go down to the river where I'll show you how to clean them. And then uh, I think I'll be tomorrow uh, evening I'll be uh, cooking up some um, pigeon and dove kebabs. Okay guys, so um, what we got, we've got nine rock pigeons and one laughing dove. And uh, what happened is we pulled out of the sun for a little while into this nice little shady spot in the middle of nowhere. So. It would have been lots of fun to cook these up right here.
but instead I'm just going to show you now how to clean them and uh, then I'll go cook them at home so let's just I'm just going to show you how to clean one of them and then uh, I'll just repeat it okay much like with the guinea fowl all we're going to do is make a small incision right there and then we're just going to peel back the skin go away all the feathers you take your knife cut alongside this chest bone then just cut down and outwards just get rid of all the feathers and that's what you're left with I'm just going to put this in the back Just cut alongside that chase bone again and then just angle your knife down and outwards and this and there you go yeah another feather well hi guys welcome back it's the next day and uh, we're here in the kitchen as you can see this uh, this time I'll be showing you how how we will be preparing those uh, pigeon breast meat and then uh, show you how we'll be making a nice little dish and uh, we'll be cooking them on the grill I'll be using the head cam again so you guys can have a nice view of what I'm doing and I can have my hands free St thanks for staying tuned and uh, hope you like it okay guys so you can see I uh, went a little ahead and uh, prepared two kebabs I'll be showing you how to prepare two pieces of those pigeons. I just don't want to bore you guys with the same footage over and over and over, so I'm just going to show how I prepare these two, and then uh, you guys will next time you'll see me will be making the dip sauce and uh, and at the grill. So first off, we have our, our pigeon, which I marinated for about 24 hours in some uh, some brown vinegar, some Worcester sauce and some um, salt, pepper and some meander. So first off we take our little piece, put some uh, cheese on it, a little bit of feta cheese, half a red cherry, just boil it up, take a piece of our macken, this is smoked beef pieces, or bacon if you would prefer that we'll just wrap our dove in that like this or our pigeon in that like this take our kebab stick and run it through like that and then you just repeat the process cheese cherry hold it up The reason I'm using this is because uh, pigeon and dove is a very lean meat and it tends to get dry. So by adding this uh, macken or bacon, you'll be making it more enjoyable for everybody. Okay, now I'm just going to repeat the process. This is what you're left with, or that, and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, we're back and we're going to make our nice little dip sauce now. Here's the kebabs all finished and waiting. And they're going to be so good. Okay, for the sauce we're just going to use some mayonnaise. About that much. 
Next we are going to be using some tomato sauce. And some chutney. And then we'll just mix it all together. And the sauce is done. Quick, easy, and it works. Okay, next time we'll be seeing me, we'll be at the grill. Okay, so we put our kebabs in about 15 minutes ago. We're having a look. Oh, they're coming, uh, coming along very really nicely. Yeah. Smells good. Okay, our kebabs were in for about 20 to 25 minutes. I'm just going to check if they're done and have a little taste test. Feels done. It's cooked all the way through. Ooh, that's hot. even necessary to use the sauce this is this is good it doesn't have that uh, gaming that I'm used to that pigeon have but it doesn't have that is uh, Mac and just gave it a little bit of moisture back and the sweet of the cherry and the cheese oh my word this is good mm. <laughs> I literally thought that recipe up this morning when I thought to myself, how am I going to cook this pigeon? But it's really good. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. Don't forget to click on the notification bell to receive a notification of each time I upload a new video. And uh, I don't know what I'll be doing in the next video, but I'll see you guys there.